Welcome back to the Bar Happiness Today TV. Um, when it comes to the issue of Mazen Amdekano and the psychological effect he's going through, well, this comes as a good news, having known the fact that uh, he has a lot that he knows that most of his followers don't know, of which his lawyer have decided to give us a preview, a classified information to that. But before we do so, before we go to the news proper, I'd like you subscribe to our channel by clicking on the rest subscribe button beside it you will see a bell notification icon please go ahead click on it to get notified as soon as we update our channel on youtube okay very quickly barista if i need your for the lead counsel to namdekano said the leader of the indigenous people of biafra is fully aware that his freedom is near the job stated this while giving details of his visit to namdekano in the dss custody on monday the lawyer in a statement issued on Tuesday described the visit as a special one. He, however, noted that Namdekano is worried about those deliberately deviating from his divine preaching. Uh, let's read the, the, the details of the statement in full. The visit, which was exclusively conducted by my humble self alone, offered us a veritable opportunity to have a heart-to-heart -heart talk without any form of distraction or intrusion from a third party. The, the conviviality was indeed deep. Onyen Domaz Namdekano, I must sincerely confess, was in a very strong spirit yesterday. Our interactions were quite frank and positively heartwarming. We extensively discussed on proactive steps being explored by our legal team to ensure his unconditional release. His worries on those deliberately deviating from his divine preachings were highlighted and well noted. Oyendo was also briefed on relevant legal remedies being resorted to command immediate and total obedience to court pronouncement, particularly where the directive of the court is ostensibly availing in the prevailing circumstances. We have compelled, compelled with all the steps directed by the court in the likely event that the lawless DSS bridges its orders. We may not delve into the details now, but be assured that the, the detaining authority is fully aware of these steps and obviously being conscious, cautious and, and circumspect of their actions and inactions henceforth. Oyen Dumas and Namdekano was deeply impressed with the peaceful conduct and relentlessness, relentlessness solidarity of his real followers. That's their unrelented solidarity. Ezibo Umochineke is what he calls them. Ezibo Umochineke. That's real children of God. He implored them to continue to remain steadfast, peaceful, focused, and never to be distracted. Oyen Dumas and is visibly firm in his convictions and only worried over those he over those he predicted long ago that would disappoint him and not the other way around. Oyen Dumas and present incarceration in the lawless DSS dungeon offered him the opportunity to identify the chaff discreetly mixed with the wheat long before now. It is an interesting lesson. That is, that is preparing him for the greater tax ahead. He's fully aware that his freedom is near and will happen like a miracle. On our part, we have crossed all the T's and dotted all the I's. Oyendu's best compliments remain with his true and ardent followers. Uh, I struggled to conduct this visit yesterday even when my medical situation said otherwise. But I shall always be there for Oyendu. No matter the circumstances I find myself, your prayers are truly impacting, and I'm doing better than I'm. Do, I'm doing better this morning. I shall keep you informed of development as they unfold. Thank you all, Omo Chineke, and remain richly blessed. Which means, from every indication, um, the barrister finding it your for the lead counsel to Mazenam Nkano is not feeling well medically, health wise. I guess um. Is going through health challenges. It's normal. The weather situation is quite um, challenging uh, in Nigeria right now. The hamata and the haziness and the rest. Uh, one would understand, and also the stress of you know the legal 
you know, tussle between the federal government, the psychological movement of always going in there, coming, knowing fully well that you have to be, you know, observing every single details around him and around himself to also double it as also to be secured over a lot of issues that is going on. So he has to be uh, doubly conscious of himself. And so I think it has a way of taking his toe. But he's saying that now, Oyen do Mazinamikano, or that the way he called him, usually call him that Mazinamikano, have used this opportunity of his detention to know those who genuinely follow him and those who have been saboteurs in the midst. Saying one, some people he has been suspecting have been sabotaging, but always pretending. Now that he will, he has been detained, they have now come in a full fledged. Now he now knows those who are genuine followers and those who are psycho fans following him. But he said he's he's so optimistic based on the things that are on ground, the proactiveness of his legal team, and all the arsenals have put in place to ensure that he is released unconditionally. He's optimistic, he's hopeful that it will come like a miracle. In no distant time he'll be released. But then that when he comes out. He's going to continue from where he stopped. And he's actually angry, uh, you know, he's disappointed at those who are deviating from his call. The truth is, I'm as curious as you are. I wonder those who are, who he has marked as saboteurs. Who could it be? You know, he's hearing things, those who are saying what they're not saying, those who are saying what they ought not to say, and those who are saying what he said he should say, and all that. He's listening to all of them, all of them. I could also remember some of the inner tussles that is going on. Some of IPB members, uh, those who were supposed to be in DSA, DOE, DOS, rather, they were uh, a sponge. Those who had the counter stuff, they had some internal tussles, but notwithstanding, those who were still moving are still moving. You know, but one thing is certain, Mazin Namdekano is very optimistic that it's going to come up. But when he does, you know, Mazin Namdekano, unfortunately, that is one person that rarely forgives. Uh, yes, intelligent, yes, uh, but he doesn't forgive. So if you know, if you know you're a saboteur, <laughs> if you know you're a saboteur, and uh, you better start praying that he doesn't come up, because if he does, your matter will be... So let's begin to look towards the issue of... Um, staying in peace and judging the fact that Mazen Namdekano is, is of good spirit. Don't forget that already Mazen Namdekano have already three court injunctions. One has to do with the fact that he had filed a suit against the GF Malami. The other one, he also filed a suit against the federal government, the DSS, over his rights, human rights, uh, you know, violations. Of course, um, there's Bruce Fain also going through the international dimension. Then, of course, we're looking at also the one that uh, the his special counsel does a uh, alloy a gym of a gymako also for stopping the federal government from prosecuting Mazen Namdekano and returning him back to Kenya and of course also asking for five billion naira for damages. All these are the things legal you know fireworks have decided to put in place to ensure Mazen Namdekano gets unconditional release. Well it depends on the federal government and the rule of law to prevail. That's why we're going to wrap it up, even though voices have been speaking concerning his release. But it's quite optimistic that the Ibo group generally are beginning to speak in one voice on his behalf. Let's meet in that conversation after this. What's your take? Do have a nice time. God bless you.